Hey everyone, and welcome back to the last Fit Tip video in this 30 part series of Fit Tips for a Healthier New Year. If you're just tuning into this for the first time, this is the last video in a series of 30 on just simple, easy kind of fitness hacks to help you get in better shape, healthier, lose weight, any of your fitness goals for this year, just some quick, easy tips to implement. So if you haven't seen the other ones, definitely go back and watch, watch those after this video. They're in no particular order, so it doesn't matter what order you watch them in. So the last fit tip for this year uh, is a very important, helpful one. Maybe you've heard it before, but fit tip number 30 is to pack your meals ahead of time. Another way to say this is to meal prep or to prepare meals ahead of time, to pack your meals, whatever it is that means that you are gonna go out and buy, shop, prepare your meals before you ever have to eat them. Why this is so important is that so many of our bad food choices tend to come from not being prepared. So for instance, probably one of the most common is going out to lunch at work going out with your coworkers and you don't have a choice over what restaurant you're going to, which makes your choices of healthy eating very limited. I mean, if you end up going to like a burger place or something like that or a pizza joint, there's not many options. Some restaurants have plenty, some others you're really limited and it's hard to find something healthy. Then also if you're eating out, you don't know how many calories you're eating. So when you prepare and take your foods for lunch or prepare your meals for dinner, which is another busy, crazy time that people come home from work and you know, you might find that you get home from work and you are starving and so you'll just eat anything that's in your fridge or you have nothing in your fridge so you call takeout or you go to the local restaurant or you drive through a fast food window or something and then you're just derailing those weight loss goals, fitness goals. When you have your food ahead of time, not only can you prepare and know that you have something healthy, but you can even measure it out, weigh it out, know exactly what you're putting into your body so if you figured out you need to eat 1,700 calories a day, if you really want to get into it, you can weigh and measure all of the food that goes into all of your meals and track it, making sure that you're not going above because that's one real easy way to lose weight and make sure you're going to hit your fitness goals is knowing how much protein you're eating, how many carbohydrates, how much fat, and how many calories. So that's kind of a whole other topic is tracking, measuring, weighing food, which may be a little bit too complicated and overwhelming to start with. So for this one, we're just focusing on making your meals ahead of time. So I'm in my car, not the most ideal place to film, I know, but I'm on my way to work. So I train and I have another job. And so I'm going from training directly to my next job. So this that I have in my car, this is my, uh, it's kind of like a, it's a little mini meal packing bag. This goes with me every single day to work, which is one of the ways that I stay fit and don't get fat, um, is by having meals with me all the time. I don't go out to lunch with my coworkers. I don't go out to lunch by myself, except for maybe once every two months or something. If I didn't have time to pack food the night before, um, or just craving something but otherwise I always take my own food so that I have control over portions over what goes into those meals I've got a little protein shake that I take for the days when I work out and then go straight to work um, so this is a bone broth collagen protein um, so I've got that with coconut milk and then inside of my bag granted it's kind of a mess in there but what I have is I've got a little bottle of sparkling water for lunch. I've got a little thing of peanut butter. I have some rice cakes in there. Um, I have my little container of some tahini sauce that I made at home for a snack that I can eat with some um, rice cakes or cucumber. I have a little container of a really messy looking combination of, uh, it's basically some cooked chicken breast, peas, tomatoes, and then like some mustard, um, I forget what else is in there, but that's kind of the gist of it. So I'm packing and preparing all of my foods the night before, and then on the weekends, I'm cooking that chicken or steak or fish or whatever I'm going to be having so that all throughout the week I have food ready to go. So, and I know that I tend to get hungry snacking, and a lot of evenings I have to come train someone or I have 
a group that I meet with or some event or something. And so I always make sure, in addition to this too, I have, I always have almonds with me, I have a protein bar with me. I always have things, because I know I get really hungry and then I know if I end up at a place with food, I will stuff my face with stuff that is not good. So I've always got snacks on hand for when hunger strikes. So that's the idea of meal prepping, is that you're not stuck with whatever happens to be around or you don't get starving and then make bad choices, but instead you always have your food ready to go and you know what you're putting into your body. So some people will do this on a Saturday or Sunday. They'll go grocery shop, buy everything for the whole week, buy a, cook a ton of meat and vegetables and carbohydrates and then pack them all into little meal containers. I've never been huge on doing that, but it is a pretty foolproof way um, to make sure that you are eating healthy. And I was just listening to a podcast la last night with a lot of good research about the more simple you keep your food and the less choices you give yourself, the less likely you are to overeat. So if your consistent meals are like chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, or you know something like that like for me I always have rice cakes and some sort of nut butter with me pretty much always eat something like chicken and peas or broccoli or green beans for lunch pretty consistent if you dive into a lot of other types of food or start going to restaurants with options you're much more prone to overeat if you don't want to do it all on the weekends like I will maybe cook enough for three or four days and then on a day during the week where may maybe have some spare time, I come home from work, I might eat my dinner while I'm cooking something else and preparing that. So things are a little bit more fresh. It doesn't take so much time on a weekend to do. So you can do it any way that works for you. But start preparing your meals ahead of time and packing them, having them ready to go so that you don't run into situations where you're starving or you just have to eat whatever is around. Eating out is probably one of the biggest culprits of weight gain. So. Don't eat out all of your lunches. Don't go out to dinner four times a week. Eat as much as you can at home or in prepared meals, and that will definitely help you lose weight. That will help you build muscle if that's one of your goals. Help keep you lean and healthy, and then you have full control over what's going into your food. You can cut out sugar, you can cut out salt, you can cut out bad fats, like vegetable oils and things like that, and just cook with clean, healthy ingredients, and you know exactly what you're putting in your body. You can choose all organic, just guarantee that you've got some good healthy options with you all the time. So if you're not already doing that, definitely start. Even if for now it's just a few days a week, you play, you take your lunches to work or you have dinner ready before you ever go. Maybe you just cook a big crock pot meal. That's a super easy way to do it. Just throw a bunch of stuff into a crock pot and you'll pretty much have enough for a full week of dinners. And make sure you get the junk out of the house. That's kind of a bonus tip, but if you are eating at home but you've got a lot of sugar and snacky foods lying around, you might end up eating those too. So get those out so that the things you have at home to prepare are all clean, healthy, good options. So you're less likely to give in to cravings. All right, so I hope that's helpful. I hope this whole series has been useful for you. If there are other questions that you have or things you'd like to know, you can comment on these videos or you can contact me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. Um, I do do personalized nutrition coaching online as well as in person and I do personal training. So if you would like more specific help and guidance, please contact me and I would love to help you. And until the next video, good luck on your fitness journey.